all students, regardless of background, regardless of race, regardless of economic family condition, can go to a four-year college and can succeed equally. We stand for the proposition that everyone in the community should be served well by public schools. This school is explicitly about diversity. An urban school aimed at an urban American population. We have every ethnic group. It's open enrollment. We're not looking for selectivity. We're trying to provide access for all kids to the American dream of becoming the next innovator in our society. We try to create a culture here that says we affirm who you are. You have an important place in our community and you have important gifts that we want to develop in you, yet we're going to challenge you and hold you accountable to be extraordinary. I put together 10 multiple choice questions and work on these with your group. So work together, let's work together. I think what's special about DSST is the care and concern. And it's not just the care and concern from the adults, it's the care and concern from the students. And students care just as much about the adults as adults care about the students. And they care about each other. And so it's a, it's a real community and I think that's something that's just really unique. The core values at our school are respect, responsibility, courage, curiosity, integrity, and doing your best. We use the language every day. So immediately when you walk into our building, you have this sense of, wow, everyone here sees these core values. And then when you go in the classrooms, you hear them. And when you talk with someone in the hallway, they'll talk about them. And so it is ingrained in our culture. One time in the morning meeting, we had this whole conversation on how we take pride in being a nerd school. When I was in elementary school, being called a nerd was an insult, but now it's like, you know, you're at the top of your class and just intelligent, and you know what you're doing, have a good head on your shoulders. So I appreciate being called a nerd. <laughs> there were times when I was nervous about all the hard work getting in for 10th grade for the first year. That was really tough, but all the teachers that were supporting me, they didn't, they didn't grab my hand and pull me through. They were letting me know my own strength, and. Uh, that really helped. The best thing about DSST is the people. They kind of helped shape me into who I am today to be able to call myself a leader. I love how we create this accountability and where students hold each other accountable and teachers hold each other accountable, teachers hold students accountable, students hold teachers accountable. So it's, it's very unique because of that sense of accountability that comes along with that community and that culture. I feel like we've done a really, really good job of helping teachers get better, challenging them to get better, and then providing them the opportunity to teach themselves, for us to teach them, and things that we feel like they need to get better at, and to support them as they grow. I was hoping you guys would come with something beautiful. I feel that I'm challenged to better my profession here, because there's never a sense of we're doing great, just keep doing what you're doing. We're doing great, what, what can we do better? And I think the students see that, and it feels very authentic to be a part of that kind of a working environment. My colleagues are phenomenal. I've grown so much as a teacher because of my colleagues. When someone shares in a meeting or just in passing what they're doing in their class, I'm, I immediately am blown away, and I think, how can I do that in my room? And then you have the island of Ireland here. The dark green area is actually territory that belongs to the United Kingdom. So that's the setting. You're going to see. I am so proud to be in a place where we truly live the mission, where it doesn't matter where any of the kids come from, their background, they're going to graduate from high school, get into a college of their choice, and receive a four year college degree. These kids are all being offered a very sophisticated liberal arts high school program with a focus on science, and they're stepping up and they're doing it. We're constantly learning, we're constantly changing things when we know it doesn't work, and I think that's critical. We can't just be satisfied with being good educators. It's not noble if we don't do it well. We can only pat ourselves on the back if we do it extraordinarily well for each kid.